Meet Alice and Bob, two really good friends who are currently fighting over who got more pizza. Can you help them figure this out? Both of us got three slices. It's a fair division. But you got your share from a four slice pizza, and I got mine from a six slices of pizza, so your slices are bigger. Huh? How do we compare our shares then? We can't use a number line like we do for whole numbers, can we? Well, as it turns out, we can. Let's find out how and help Alice and Bob. Bob got three slices out of four, and Alice got three out of six. To compare these fractions, we draw two identical number lines and divide the first one in four parts and the second one in six. So here we have on the first one a zero, then this next mark is one by four, then two by four, then three by four, and finally four by four, which by the way is the same as one. Similarly, this is what the second number line looks like. As you can see, 3 by 4 on the first number line falls towards the right of 3 by 6 on the second one, and as we go from left to right on the number line, values increase. This means that 3 by 4 is greater than 3 by 6, and Bob actually got more pizza. Now let's talk about mixed numbers. There are three parts on mixed numbers, whole number, numerator, and denominator. This format is mixed numbers. You can see the whole number at the very front and the denominator located on the bottom, and the numerator is on the denominator. This is a composition of mixed number. Now we will represent mixed numbers with cake. We will use same mixed number as last page. Whole number means you got the whole cake. So we have two whole cake at this example. The denominator is saying how many pieces of cake we will gonna divide. So we will cut the cake as four pieces. A numerator means how many pieces you have from the four pieces of cake. So you lastly have three pieces of cake. Last step is representing mixed numbers to the number line. When mixed number represent a number line, you can see one section is divided by four parts. So we can color till number two because we have two whole number. And we have three numerator, so we will gonna color three of it. So we can represent mixed number on number line like this. Moving on to decimals, the concept of number places with decimal places works in a different way from whole numbers. Rather than trying to represent groups, number places with decimals are meant to represent parts of a whole. These places are found on the right side of the decimal point. Tenths can be described as a whole divided into 10 pieces, with each piece having a decimal value of 0 0.1 or a fraction value of 1 tenth. Hundreds can be described as a whole divided into 100 pieces or each tenth being divided into 10 pieces. Each piece has a decimal value of 0 0.01 or a fraction value of 1 over 100. Thousands can be described as a whole number divided into a thousand pieces or each hundredth divided into ten pieces. Each piece having a decimal value of 0 0.001 or the fraction value of 1 over 1000. Just like fractions, these numbers are meant to represent a number that is not whole. Every number has an equivalent fraction value. The difference is that the fraction represents an undivided version of the decimal number.